Top of the time zone to you all. It is Freddie J here with Freddie J Sports. We're back on PGA Tour 2K23, and we're playing the My Career after we won one of the tournaments offline. What we did, uh, we're, we're going to be playing the TPC Scottsdale for the Summit Championship. And I got to say, uh, Doing that one offline was good for the confidence in regards to play better. We figured out a lot of things from the rounds we had during the TGC tours. Uh, just playing offline where we didn't stream it. We didn't record it. We just simply played our game. We figured out what we had to do and we caught our stride. And now we're going to go ahead and play this one because this is a big tournament. This is TPC Scottsdale. This is where all the money is. So don't mind if I do, am I right? So we got some new gear. We had perfect sponsors with our apparel clubs and balls. We had some more sponsors that were offered us, offered to us, but I didn't think they matched the clubs that we had. Like, I don't have the golf club. Uh, I didn't have what ping I didn't have a bunch of stuff that they were asking for and so actually We'll see how much that lasts. Oh, so we got to keep tearing up. Gotcha. But yeah, that's okay. So that was probably one of the main reasons why uh, we didn't lose. Uh, we didn't change sponsors. It was simply because we couldn't afford to lose our reputation despite, you know, let me put on some clubs that I don't have right that's pretty much why we didn't do that but anyway uh we've talked enough we're gonna go ahead and get started right now and here we are finally in the desert for the tpc scottsdale's corn ferry tour really looking forward to playing here we recently just had a video of us doing our career here for PGA Tour 2004 of Tiger Woods. So now, how it comes back full circle, playing this game 20 years later. Quiet, please. Let's get this a good tee shot right down the middle. That one's long. Good 310 yards there. Now our second shot is 94 feet. A little bit of an interesting lie here. That was out there. All right, let's try to spot this real good. Nice little spin. And now this is to save par on the first hole. Get in there. No, it doesn't. Does not fall in. Starting off with a bogey is not what we had in mind. We'll have to try again on the next hole. And now here we are at the second. This one is pretty much straightforward. Got some fairway bunkers on the right.
As you notice, the swing looks a little bit better from the last time we played. It wasn't too uh, bad. We're still having uh, some trouble on our approaches trying to spot it correctly. But I do have a bit of faith that we can uh, make this work. I was a bit slow, but I think this will be on the green just a little bit further out. But that's still playable. A little bit too far, but we're putting. That's the big thing that matters at this point. Ah, oh, but this is a right to leffer. 26 feet. Gonna take his time with this one for bo birdie here. Gonna want to get this close, but not too far. Good speed, but that's going underneath the hole. Still past it. We'll take the par, and we'll move on to the third. Now par five. Not a lot happening on the leaderboard. It's like it's all... A tie right now. Uh, rough swing to start. This one may not even make. Oh man. Not what you wanted there. Good out. Now it's back on the fairway. This is a par five, so now it's time to get that green in regulation. Perfect. Let's see if we can ride the roller coaster, and it doesn't. But that is a green in regulation, and now we're putting for birdie. I wouldn't take this for granted. This is 37 feet. This one may be a bit short. Well, it was going to miss to the left anyway, so good call of not going all in. I wouldn't say putting is necessarily a weakness for us but it is something that i do want to improve on simply because look how we're missing like we need we need better opportunities to but at the same time we could if we had better approaches we wouldn't be talking right now that's a bit fast i wouldn't be surprised if this catches the bunker Yep. Not a good stroke there. That was a good move. A little bit too far, but we're shooting for par. And that will drop. Good par save. Still one over for the day. And Jin Woo Lee currently leading with two under. So it's still a tight start to the round. And again, we're just rushing right now. And that's not... See, I don't think this is rough. I think this is just dirt. Okay. Let's let's get that out the way. And I got to say, I am not liking the looks of this. And that one's going to be short. Tremendously short. 
Going to dirt again. All right, we're out of there. This is for par. There it goes. A good save. Four pars in a row. We're rambling and scrambling at this point. And now, here we are at the six. My goodness. Let's see if a fly passes bunker. Barely does. Big shot right there. Now, this is all yours for the taking if you hit it right. Hundred and eight yards to the cup. Perfect. A little bit too far, but we're on. This one's a, a interesting one. 21 feet. This looks bakeable. Oh, by a hair, and it's going to keep rolling, too. Now that's a whole new read, and this is exactly why I don't like to let it go past the hole. Because of that right there. You have to read a whole new putt now. And we drop back a spot. And now here we are at par three. Two hundred and twenty five yards. You know what? I'm just going to go straight at it. Perfect. That one's looking like it starts left, but we're going to see how it plays. What a shot, and it's going to keep going. Finally, something decent. And that's with the three iron there. And now this is 13 feet for birdie now. That better turn. It did not turn. That's truly unfortunate to blow a birdie putt like that. We'll take the par. And we're going to move on. That was truly unfortunate. Great tee shot. Just couldn't move because of not only the break, but a little bit of the... of uh. I guess of a pull. Um, I'm not sure what would that be for the putter. But yeah, that was not pretty at all. And this one is not a pretty tee shot. Four. Oh my goodness. Almost took out that guy's shoulder. Don't look at my ball like that. I don't appreciate that. All right, here's our second shot. It's not too bad, but I will opt to club up here. And that was pulled. Didn't get all of it. And that's going to... 
be our consequence there. The chips have been inconsistent, that's for sure. Now we're looking at yet again another par. And we get it done. If one thing we're going to do is we're going to scramble. We're going to have so many eggs out of this. Still two over through eight. All right, we're now at the last of the front nine. Good old par four here. Perfect. That's going to be a good tee sh shot right down the middle. Now we got a good look for this green. Not really happy with the distance on this. This is 142. The pitching wedge can go about 133. But let's see how this one rolls. That's looking a little bit to the left, but I think it's going to move forward. And roll off the green. That's what we was afraid of. And that's going to be another par save if we can sink this one. Very done. And now we head on to the back at the 10th. Currently two over for the round. You know, opting to get greedy here. We're going to be crazy. Headed directly for the cart path. Is it going to get past that tree? It is not. Well then. That was a bold move. Let's see how it pays off. Disregards the tree just to put that within 10. Maybe 15. Yeah, that's 10 feet. All right. Well, then, that was a bold move. But alas, it stopped short. I ain't gonna lie, it was a great move. We just didn't finish it with the putt, so did it matter? <laughs> Honestly, had had it rolled a little bit more, we probably had a better chance to get it closer. We just we just missed a putt. That's that's all it is. We just missed a terrible putt. I mean, it wasn't a terrible putt. It was just a matter of just gauging the speed of how the thing's gonna roll. That's all it is. That's the that's the thing we've been struggling constantly. All right, so we're at our second shot now, 170 yards. I have a good feeling that I'm going to miss badly to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move that to the right real quick. All 
That's a perfect. And that's looking right on line in the air. Nicely done. That should be 15 feet. It's actually 16, but uh, who's counting, right? This should be enough. Wow. And like I said, sometimes it wants to be serious. Sometimes it's like, nah, you did too much. And now here we are on the 12th with a five iron. Perfect. This one's on the right side, but I think we're going to be okay. As long as it stays on. Well, on the fringe. We're going to go ahead and putt this one. Took a sharp turn, but we're close enough that we can make par for this. And that's all we've been managing to do, just make pars for a lot of these. I don't think we've got a single birdie yet, so we're hungry for it. we got a par 5 now, so we have a chance to do it. Long as we practice good shots. Perfect. And yeah, that's going to be a good start. On the fairway for 315 yards. Second shot on the way. This is a lot of fairway to deal with. Going with the hybrid. Hopefully this will be enough. Perfect. This is headed a little bit more to the right than we expected, but it's going to be on the green for Eagle. It'll be great, though, if we make this first putt so we can go back to even. But here's the challenge, though. This is 43 feet, one of the longest putts. And the greens have not been kind to us on these long ones. Going for it. Oh, that's turning way too much. Going way too far as well. And, yeah. That's our luck today. That is really our luck. All we've been able to do is move back in neutral, but never forward on the leaderboard, unless everybody else bogeys. But here we are on the 14th, the par 4, 473 yards, 9 feet up is the elevation. That one was chalked up and into the rough, into the galley. They moved out the way. Gonna blast my three iron, because why not? Got nothing to lose but the ball at this point. Perfect. Well, that's a fighting chance now. Something we wouldn't have had if we just chose 
any other club. Brilliant chip to put that close. And we'll keep at it at par. Two over still. And now another par five with an opportunity to eagle. Perfect. Down the fairway in the middle. Now the question is, do you want to lay up for this next shot or hit a driver off the deck and risk it? Actually, you don't have to. A three iron will get you there. And a three iron it will. Whoa. All right. Time to play a game of chip and dip. 13 yards off. We're just trying to set up for a good eat birdie putt. And that's going to be okay. I don't like how it rolled because it's going to foreshadow a bit and yep it will although it's six feet this is going to be a heartbreaker watch this finally a sigh of relief as we finally make a birdie as it takes only the 15th goodness gracious All snap. You know what time it is. It's time to bring out the nice, comfortable 9-iron. So the crowd can get nuts when I hit this thing. Well, I guess not. All right, so we have ourselves a long putt for par to erase our one birdie we had today. Or not. That's truly unfortunate. I love it when a course gives you a par 5 and you get a birdie. And then the par 3 next to it just takes it right away. Luckily, there is a drivable par 4 so we can redeem ourselves. If we have the right club to hit it. In fact, I am going to be big bold. And aim a little closer. Let's see if we get a good bounce. All right, we're on. And now we have a putting chance for Eagle as we drove the green. That might deserve a trophy ball after that one. And now we have a 39-foot putt, and let me tell you, this does not look pretty. So I'm playing it way safe. That's tracking really well. Another heartbreaker, five foot putt. 
Another sigh of relief. Those right there are big confidence boosters. The odds of us making that was going to be terrible, but we did it anyway. And so now we're going to move on to the final hole. 434 yards, a par 4 with downward elevation. Should be on the fairway unless it rolls. Now. This is 125 yards, and this one looked like it was a bit of slice in the air, so we're going to have a long putt to close out. And this is for birdie. This one's going to be under to the hole. You can stop right there. All right, five feet to stay at one over. Oh, almost hit that too. And now I'll do it for the first round of the Summit Championship with a score of 72, just one over for the day. Appreciate everybody for coming out. Stay tuned for more content. If y'all like this video, make sure you like it. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell for more golf, more sports, more NASCAR, more of all that on the Freddie J Sports channel. We're tied for fourth heading into the second round. Are we going to move up or move down? Or are we going to miss the cut altogether? Tune in as we find out. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'm Freddie J. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. Until next time, we'll see ya.